Hello everybody and welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Now in today's video, uh, we're going to be checking out the ASUS ROG Phone 5S. Uh, obviously, this is also a 5G device and I know this phone has been launched like last year, a couple of months back actually, but I only just got my hands on this box, this device here. So in today's video, we're going to be exploring a little bit more and see if these kind of phones are actually still very relevant today. So before I start that video, of course, uh, if you could just support the channel by dropping a like and subbing to the channel to see more content like this, that would be super uh, much appreciated. All right, let's talk a bit about the phone now. So the ROG Phone 5S is actually retailing in Malaysia for RM2999 and that's the base pack. You get uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of internal memory. Of course, you can get even higher to 16 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of internal memory. So that's a quite a fair bit of RAM. But yeah, that's just in terms of the pricing here in Malaysia. Now let's check out the device. Right, so I do have the device here. Uh, my version is actually this uh, so-called Storm White version. And just in terms of the design, I must say that as of 2022, this device still looks absolutely amazing to me. Yes, you do get that uh, LEDs at the back and you can actually customize the colors of these LEDs. Uh, you can also customize the breathing effects. You know, all this kind of stuff is very customizable. And in fact, I do have a gradient sort of color right now uh, on the back. Hopefully you can see it through the camera. Very nice. The entire back is actually made of glass. So it's a uh, very solid and quite heavy actually for my personal liking. Um, but overall, yes, uh, I did went with the white version. There is actually a black version as well, which I actually covered in my ASUS ROG 5 video, I think like almost half a year ago. So yep, this time I chose the white. Now bear in mind that the sides are actually all in this blacked out aluminum sides. You do have those very nice, slightly bluish essence, which looks amazing by the way. I love those little touches. And in terms of the charging ports, this is where it got quite interesting. You do have one main charging port at the bottom. And if you flip the device to the other side here, you actually do have another charging port. So it's like if you're gaming and you're holding a your phone this way, you can still plug in the cable and you know, play while charging the device. Um, apart from that, yes, you also still have your headphone jack. Uh, it's not common these days to actually see a headphone jack on a high-end device. So definitely happy to see that ASUS is still keeping it here. Otherwise, uh, that's pretty much how the design looks like. Now let's flip the device to the front and check out what kind of display we do have. Uh, we actually have a fairly large display. Again, this is a 6.7 inch uh, Super AMOLED display. Uh, bear in mind that this is also made by Samsung. It is the E4 display. That means it's more color accurate as well. Now in terms of the refresh rates, uh, naturally because this is a gaming device, so you're gonna get 144 hertz refresh rates, uh, which is honestly speaking super smooth. Like, uh, I've tried out 60, 90, 120, and 144. And once you try out 144, right, uh, when you go back to 90 hertz, you actually feel like 90 hertz is like 60. So uh, yeah, this is actually quite interesting here, but it is just uh, absolutely super smooth, I would say, in terms of interactions on the display. Now, if you are a gamer, you would like to know that uh, the touch sampling rate here is actually 320 hertz, which is fine. I was able to play my games very smoothly on this display, so no complaints about that there at all. Um, in terms of the brightness levels, uh, yes, it does go all the way up to 1002 or 1300 nits. So it's fairly bright and definitely if you are outdoors, sometimes you play under the sun, uh, you will not have any issues actually looking at the display. Um, last but not least, it is also protected by the Corning Gorilla Glass Victor. So yep, uh, I have not been using a screen protector and so far it has been holding up pretty well. Uh, let's move on to the more important point here and that is all about the processor. Yes, we do have a Snapdragon 888 Plus processor here. And I know a lot of you guys out there, you are very familiar with the fact that Snapdragon 888 devices all tend to overheat and get very hot. So unfortunately, it is still the case here with the 888 Plus. Uh, I tend to do quite a fair bit of gaming actually. Uh, you guys, if you've seen my videos from my previous uh, reviews and all that, you might know that I play a lot of Mobile Legends. I'm a heavy gamer of that game although I'm still quite a noob, but yeah, uh, I love that game, so I play that quite a fair bit, and I noticed that the temperatures do tend to get a little bit high on the uh, ASUS ROG Phone 5S. Now, that's not to say that this is the uh, phone itself. I would say that this is really down to the processor because uh, I've been hearing all these kind of situations on all the other Snapdragon 888 devices. Now, in terms of just uh, using task on a daily, of course, you will not feel that much of a heat. But like I said, if you are a gamer and you game quite a fair bit, uh, you will definitely want to check out the cooler by uh, ASUS themselves. They actually have a very cool cooler that you can attach to the phone itself. And according to ASUS, it might actually reduce 
the temperature by up to 10 degrees Celsius. So that might be helpful if you are a gamer. Um, it's also worth pointing out that on the sides here, we do have uh, touch sensitive buttons and they're actually quite cool. They're very responsive. So if you are like playing PUBG and you just want to remap your button to these touch sensitive buttons, you can do that very easily using the game console. Now, uh, just I did a very quick uh, benchmark test here because I happen to have the uh, Samsung uh, Galaxy S22 Ultra. So just side by side, these devices are actually quite similar. They have very similar uh, sizes right here. But yes, I did the Geekbench test and I noticed that the scores was higher on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, but in terms of the multi-core score, it was slightly higher on the uh, Asus ROG Phone 5S. So I would say that just in terms of the utmost performance, you are still getting a lot of performance on the Asus ROG 5S. Uh, now done with the performance, let's talk a little bit about the cameras at the back. We do have a triple camera setup here. You might think that on a gaming phone, uh, Asus is not going to put in some decent sensors, but you might be wrong. It has a 64 megapixel main sensor. It also has a 13 megapixel ultra wide. And last but not least, it has a 5 megapixel macro lens. Now I did take a couple of photos here, which I'm going to show you on the screen right now. And you can see that actually the photos taken by the Asus ROG 5S is actually quite decent. And I would say that in terms of just gaming, phones alone, uh, the camera samples coming out from the ROG 5S here is actually quite good uh, or definitely on par with the best that you can get from most gaming phones today. So definitely uh, quite surprised there by the cameras at the back. It's not like the latest modules or something, but it is actually able to take some pretty good decent shots. Um, last but not least, let's talk a little bit about the batteries in the back. We do have a massive 6000 mAh battery and the charger does come in a box. It comes in this 65 watt uh, fast charger. This charging brick here looks super cool. You even have that ROG logo at the back. Absolutely good looking charger. And yes, you also have that uh, braided Type-C cable in the box. Cool stuff there. Uh, according to ASUS, it would do like 70% in 30 minutes. So again, fairly fast charging over there. Uh, last but not least, uh, I also want to talk a little bit about the haptics as well as the speakers. Now, haptics-wise, you're definitely getting the best here. It is the X-axis haptics. That means every interaction with the display itself, it is a very short and crisp vibrations that feels awesome. And in terms of the stereo speakers, yes, you do have them. They're very loud. It's stereo speakers, and they actually play out quite symmetrical on both sides to give you that very nice uh, gaming immersive experience. Overall, um, just to answer back my question at the, at the beginning of the video, like is this ASUS ROG Phone 5S still valid in 2022 considering this was launched last year? Well, honestly speaking, I think it is definitely still very relevant here. If you are a gamer and you want something a little bit more unique, in fact, uh, if you don't want those phones that you know look very crazy, this one here, the one in white actually looks quite nice. You have that very uh, simple minimalist looking logo at the back that lights up. Uh, and overall, yes, I know it does heat up, but actually most gaming phones today with all the kinds of processors, they all will tend to heat up anyway. So uh, my suggestion here is that if again, you are a super heavy gamer, you might want to invest in a cooler just to cool down the systems and all that. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you are a gamer, would you actually purchase something like this? Or would you just go for the conventional, you know, normal smartphones and actually still be able to get a very good, uh, decent gaming experience? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Again, thank you for staying all the way till the end. It is actually quite late, 12.40 a.m. right now. Uh, I know some of you guys might be asleep. So, yep, uh, thank you for staying with me till the end. All right, that's it for today's video. Uh, do take care, everyone, and I hope to see all of you guys in the next one. Stay safe, everybody. Bye.